the much more in-depth piece from from Ted at antiwar.com that that was featured in Popular Resistance. Again, six things that the media won't tell you about Ukraine, and I clipped this out. Okay, talking about how here are six crucial pieces of background that the Western media won't tell you. All right, first of all, again, the NATO promise. Putin's demands are only bold if it is bold to ask NATO to keep his promises. Okay, his demands are only impossible if it is impossible for NATO to keep its promise. All right, Russians also feel the sting of hypocrisy when it comes to the Ukraine and Crimea. They point to Kosovo and Cuba, which is also history is not on our side here. No. Yeah, I mean, but what do we want? You know, a different Bay of Pigs this time? You know? Hmm. Unreal. So, yeah, as a result, Russia sees the West, uh, West position on Crimea as nothing more than a case of extreme hypocrisy. Right. I mean, meddling. Declassified documents make it clear that all the Western powers, including not only the U.S. and Germany, but also the U.K. and France, repeatedly made Russia the same promise, which is, again, that we would not expand westward or eastward beyond Germany. Right. And that, again, declassified documents have made that clear, that, would, that that is what was promised. It was a reiteration of the earlier 19, February 1990 promise that not only NATO membership, but NATO troops would not extend east. Yeah, except then we have, right? Well, except we have, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, then there's the catalyst for the crisis today, right, which was that 2014 coup, which was set up and supported yeah. by Viktor Yanukovych. We remember right. old Vicky? Yep. Okay, so both Russia and the EU, EU could help Ukraine and Yanukovych. Doesn't have to be forced to choose according to Stephen Cohen, and that's why I put this in, because everybody reveres Stephen Cohen and his, and his takes and opinions. May he rest in peace. It was the European Union, backed by Washington, that said in November to the democratically elected president of a profoundly divided country, Ukraine, you must choose between Europe and Russia. You must choose. So instead of a Russian puppet president betraying his people and abandoning an economic alliance with the EU in favor in, of an economic alliance with Russia... What the media will not tell you is that the catalyst of the current crisis was a U.S. engineered and supported coup of a democratically elected president. We may not have liked, but he was democratically elected. But what happened? We destabilized our country. Then there's also the media will not tell you about the crucial connection between the NATO promise to expand, not to expand east and the coup in Ukraine itself. All right, again, Stephen Cohen also included security policy provisions that would apparently subordinate Ukraine to NATO. So the provisions compelled Ukraine to adhere to Europe's military and security policies. So the proposal was not a benign economic agreement. It was a security threat to Russia in economic sheep's clothing. That is. And then there's again, what Crimea wants. What does Crimea want? What do they want? That's a great question. In itself, it's not so important to the U.S. What was so threatening was the was what the annexation meant in terms of Russia's relationship to the U.S. and in terms of its changing role in the world world order. We saw that as their expanding eastward or, or westward. Except it was already part of of their okay. The EU economic alliance was an aggressive package that hid it in NATO's expansion right up to Russia's border. The media won't tell you that either. Mm. Yes, it does. So, and again, not only does it have bipartisan support, it also has support of the corporate media that serves the military-industrial complex and defense contractors. So right. you won't hear this kind of questioning of why are we involved in Crimea? What are we doing there? Are we in the right? Have we made promises and guarantees to, the, to, to these people? And again, this is the Quincy Institute for Responsible Statecraft who points out that Russia has not acted annex Donetsk and Luhansk, okay, or recognize their independence. He says that annexation is not Russia's preferred option for the future of the Donbass region and adds that the that the important reminder that Moscow could have annexed the Donbass and did Crimea at any time during the past seven years, but has, refra has refrained. 
Now, part of it, honestly, is because we drew a line in the sand when they went to Crimea, and right. it brought us to the brink at that point. And they probably well, didn't, didn't we, want to push much further. Like Obama, Obama before Trump got in office, right? Didn't he mm -hmm. like push a bunch of troops over there? To yes, he did. See what like Trump would do with it, pretty much. This is yeah. well, well, yeah, but this is also yeah, Russia pushing Obama, and and you know, and, and right. not just Russia, but but the entire East pushing the the limits on Western imperialism. Okay, but yeah. what the real picture is. Russia doesn't want the Donbass, and Donbass, possibly even Ukraine, don't want NATO. NATO. Yeah. Right? But they also feel yeah. the sting, like I said, when they point to Kosovo and Cuba. Right? In 2008, we supported that. Did I did I have that earlier? Maybe. I think Maybe. so. I think that was a do. Good thing to reiterate, though. The annexation NATO of Crimea right was not a Russian act of, of expansionist aggression or intervention. Again, I think that this was written by somebody in Russia. Um, this is clearly a pro-Russian stance. Uh, definitely an okay anti-imperialist stance. That's also okay to be. Uh, I'm, I have no problem with it, but I certainly want to want to state what the bias clearly is here. I mean, this is this is definitely yes. not from an American perspective. It was a defense of a red line against U.S. expansionism that broke foundational in U.S. NATO promise, and against an expansionist, an interventionist U.S. supported coup. Okay, yeah. all of these things are true, and the Western media won't tell you any of them. Yeah, well, and they're they're right that they won't. Like, we wouldn't hear any of that stuff. So, yep. do you, did did it say who wrote that at the top? That, that was from antiwar.com. dot com. Tom, some, Tom, uh, Ted Snyder, Ted Snyder from antiwar.com. dot com. Okay. Ah, see, oh. now slide you off. Ah, this worked.